Developers Log 1 of Sucker Free Games' production of the episodic gaming epic, Dungeons. The designers, Danielle Dorsey. Pain. William McDonald. $105. The programmer, John Norman. That's awesome. Armed with a fridge of energy drinks, an Xbox 360, and the Torque X 2D engine, this group of gaming geniuses have banded together in an unholy alliance to produce a masterpiece of retro gaming goodness. Dungeons. Reminiscent of the classic arcade games Golden Axe and Streets of Rage, Dungeons hopes to bridge a gap in the gaming world combining the brawler's old with the humor of Conker's Bad Fur Day, making it ideal for the late 80s and mid 90s arcade enthusiasts. This is their true story. Over the past two weeks, we've made our first draft of our game design document. Made some character designs and sketched out some level designs. Danielle has started turning the first level design into a multi-layered background image. So, I'm going to show you how I've been drawing the backgrounds for the Dungeons video game that we're going to be putting on Xbox Live. First, you can download a program such as net.paint or paint.net if you're not dyslexic. When you're making backgrounds, like the historic way of doing it in like the Sega Genesis era and that kind of thing is that you use tiles, which are a pattern that you can put in like mountains, like here. And you could make a tile that you would just repeat them over and over and just plug that onto the surface of what you're doing uh, instead of having to draw everything by hand which I've actually been doing. I've been drawing everything by hand. And so the way I've been doing it is I draw it all on a 2D surface and I've been breaking it apart as I go. And layers are basically like if you're drawing or animating in the old days, they would have the celluloid sheets and you would draw on one and then in order to like make an arm, you could do an arm on a different layer. So you'd have a pancake basically of these different sheets that uh, comprise your animation. So with the background, I'll show you, uh, you can do the same thing. So like this is one of the layers there, and you can see behind it there is like a sky and the, and that's like the furthermost layer, and then clouds. So, and then you want to have another layer, and that's like the primary layer with um, a lot of the background. And this is the very front layer, so if you can see there, there's the individual, what it looks like. And so I've been giving everything its own texture. And there's white in the background right here right now because basically you have to draw to overlay in the background, you have to have it fill more space so that when you move, which we're gonna have the characters moving along this plane, there's gonna be a different film rate in the front as there is to the back because when you're moving in real life, things closer to you look closer and they move at a quicker pace whereas if things in the back that are farther away they're going to be moving at a slower pace because it's a greater distance to travel you break them apart and like that's the very back layer and uh so it should be zoomed in probably about here so the character's going to be able to walk around here and i haven't finished drawing the ground but i've basically started with lots of the elements of the background right now trying to replicate the Sega Genesis resolution, the graphics, the art. Yeah, basically we're basing this stuff off Golden Axe primarily, and I'm like, there's some stuff that's not based on, like, just kind of like, uh, completely original without being inspired by any character ever in the history of gaming. It's called a hair bird. Hair bird. They like to die a lot. Did they explode because of oh, evil? Yes. Oh yes, well you see, Kerbal is so small compared to the heroes that when a mighty sword swings upon them, they literally tear themselves asunder, sending body parts and squibs, like these over here, all over the screen. And then they have a little matching hat that also flies somewhere. Because, yep, I drew all of this. This is based off no template, this is based off of no other image I've seen, it was simply in my head. Kerbal. Uh, if you look at my Bodox character and compare it to, let's say, Gold Golden Axe's graphics, you'll notice some similarities. It's because I based it off of it with the idea of trying to replicate that look, that shading, and that art style, and I suck very, very hard. 
but that's because I'm reading. And in fact, I'll show you my books. Okay, this was the biggest disappointment of them all. I mean, it looks cool, but it's like something I, I think a high schooler would have. I can't believe how much they charge for this thing, and don't buy it. So, except I'm using this one. It's OK Graphics, it is really dense, and it has all kinds of information on palette swapping, and like old school programs, and how to do sprite art, and animation cycles. So that's walk and jump and crawl loops, and that's pretty cool. And this is more like uh, for made for mobile games, which is cool because ours is done at 16-bit re uh, 16 16-bit Genesis resolutions. So it's like we're talking like a 80 by 94, <laughs> like that. So it's super low. And so like basically, our game will probably translate very well onto a, like a, a phone or the GBA or something. Like even it also gives examples of like different color palettes used by different portable consoles, and uh, like. We even, even talked about the programs they used to draw the art originally. That's long since dead, like that was a DOS program. This book is really awesome. <laughs> Can you blur it? Can you blur it out there? No, no, see, this is art. Is this considered art, John? I can actually show these naked people to the people of YouTube because this is actually art according to Dover. I can use this stuff like that, the backflip. I can actually use that as like a base and then draw on top of it if I even wanted to to create my creature. Which you did. Well, I did that for a walk animation. <laughs> I haven't done it for the flip. Okay, well, that's about it, what I'm doing today. I not any way laid out at all. You get, no, actually they are. <laughs> Here, let me show you. No, not in this way. Oh, not vertically, no, it's horizontally. It, it, it needs to be layered, column, it needs to be a checkerboard fashion. Bum bum. So, what are your plans to do for the first week of class? I'm going to be learning uh, C Sharp, and I'm going to be learning how the engine is structured so I can um, help get you on your um, content creation. And I'm going to look at adding par the parallax mapping. Actually, it depends if Danielle's gotten at least one back one of the backgrounds done yet. If I get done with that, I'll get started on figuring out animation. Yep, so you can help me make a spreadsheet and show me how. Exactly! Uh, I did spend about 10 minutes trying to figure out how the heck the movement um, component was added to the sprite, and I didn't figure that out. Do you still feel ambitious and like we can get this done? Do you have, are you hopeful? Yes! Victory will be ours? Victory will be ours. Anything else you want to add? <laughs> no. The yellow screen. Oh! You probably won't see it because William will edit it out, but our first attempt failed. <laughs> the Bolock's walking around. There he is! Hey, yeah, look at that. He's moving. Alright, uh, I just got uh, one of the attack things done, so now when I press D, he does a little chop, double when, tap I, when I double tap it, he does a full on swing. Yeah. Maybe we'll combo with that more, we don't know yet. Yeah, get some nice little three button combos going, and then we have like a secondary attack, we can kick him or grapple, it's going to be awesome. And of course there's jump attacks and room attacks eventually. Eventually. But this is a pretty good start, this took all day, and it's awesome. Yeah, trying to figure out how the stupid engine works. By stupid, you mean cheap and efficient. <laughs> oh, here's the end. Okay, you also inserted some code that allows us to use the Xbox 360 controller with our character. Hopefully. Oh, look at that, will yeah, ya? Yeah, it works. Let's check it out. He's moving, moving it. And when he's moving it, he's moving. This is called science, people. You can't, you can't, you can't. Yeah. Oh, he's tapping, and we're tapping. Dang, that was easy. That was like, what, a line of code to turn this on? A couple lines. I just had to figure out what line of code to use. Turns out I was looking in the completely wrong section. This is so awesome. Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> yeah, this is great. For a week, this is awesome. <laughs> I will have you know that I'm dead sexy. <laughs> and everybody loves the chase. Okay. <laughs>